In the universe, there is an immense and terrifying amount of space. Humans by nature are compelled to examine everything around them, and that includes the vast cosmos. The most fundamental question is whether we are alone in the universe or not. In fact, there are more planets than stars in the galaxy. In today's video, we will discuss how the new James Webb Space Telescope will transform our understanding of alien life. With NASA's newest Eye in the Sky launched last December, we'll study the mysteries of the universe. The big question on everyone's mind is, what will we find with the most powerful space telescope ever? Will we find alien life? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to Future. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future technology. The James Webb Space Telescope is shaping up to be one of the most significant breakthroughs for humankind regarding space observation, being far more powerful than other space telescopes ever launched by humans. It now enables scientists to study very distant objects in space as they have never been able to before. Astronomers are now hoping that what JWST sees will change the way we understand our universe just as the Hubble Space Telescope did decades before. Could this new telescope help us find the aliens? Scientists are working diligently and spending billions of dollars to learn more about our planet and the universe beyond. With persistence and an undying determination, all of their hard work appears to have paid off in the shape of a massive telescope. The telescope is said to be capable of showing celestial bodies once it is launched. This will give us a whole new perspective on the cosmos. While the Hubble has spent 30 years describing the known universe and pointing out celestial entities in exquisite detail, the JWST will use infrared technology to unveil the other side of the universe. For space exploration, the launching of the James Webb Space Telescope is a once-in-a-generation event. According to reports, JWST will significantly impact the quest for extraterrestrial life. Because it is the world's largest and most influential space observatory, by integrating NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency's $10 billion telescopes, JWST promises to transform our understanding of the cosmos and our role in it. Scientists will be able to peek into space like never before and unravel the secrets of the universe's first stars and galaxies. The JWST will photograph exoplanets that orbit other suns. There have been over 4,000 exoplanets discovered, and only a few of them have been photographed since 1995. According to the measurement of the modest impact they have upon their host stars, they seem to have an overwhelming majority, which appears to shake them slightly or block some of their light. Webb will concentrate on planets located in the living zones of distant stars and those that have liquid water on their surface. The JWST will also investigate the building components of life on these Earth-like worlds outside our solar system that may be suited for life. The telescope's cameras will seek evidence of life and water in the atmosphere of other planets. Who knows, maybe one day at a distance of several light years away, we may find animals, vegetation, or the famed Jedi Master Yoda. Webb will have a huge impact on the search for life beyond Earth, according to Claudia Maristem, an astronomy professor at the University of Portsmouth's Institute of Cosmology and Gravitation. She told Newsweek that the telescope was capable of studying in unprecedented depth the atmosphere of tens of thousands of extrasolar planets around the galaxy. However, when the public discusses alien life, this is a game-changer for the field. We typically conjure visions of monsters, intelligent beasts having laser weapons, and fantastic technology in our minds, but we rarely consider the more grounded and scientifically appropriate form of alien life, which could be on a microbiological scale. Single-celled organisms and other forms of simple life are far more plausible than the basic trappings of science fiction. Scientists speculate that the JWST may discover microbial life similar to those found on Earth. The transit method detects and studies the attributes of a planet by detecting and studying a dip there in the brightness of all its host stars as the planet passes between that and us, similar to a very small solar eclipse. However, the JWST would revolutionize exoplanet research, possibly providing the first opportunity for scientists to use transmission spectroscopy to hunt for biosignatures in other worlds' atmospheres. Scientists believe there is already evidence of life. Dr. Sarah Rugeimer, an Oxford University Glassstone Research Fellow and author of the audiobook Looking for Extraterrestrial Life, believes that life began on Earth in the midst of our oldest rocks. We have strong evidence of life stretching back 3.5 or 3.8 billion years after the Earth cooled. Dr. Rugamer detailed just how the JWST can evaluate exoplanets to determine what's abundant in their atmosphere. The JWST can also say which planets are more suggestive of life. If we encountered a planet with only water, CO2, and a trace of methane, what would it mean? Nothing much, to say the least. She claims that water and CO2 are abundant in the universe, and volcanoes can generate modest amounts of methane. 
we need to look for combinations of gases that can't be explained by geology alone, things that biology has been the only reasonable explanation for because it throws the system out of balance, she said. Aside from water and carbon dioxide and evidence of habitability, the telescope will look into various topics, the most crucial of which will be the hunt for life on other worlds. The equipment can analyze a wide spectrum of celestial bodies, including the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. The Webb telescope will take a month to reach its target in solar orbit, nearly one million miles from Earth and four times as far away as the Moon. The device's unique orbital path helps keep it always aligned with the Earth and its orbit around the Sun. JWST plans to observe the TRAPPIST-1 system, which is only 39 light-years away, and it may appear to be very far, but it is incredibly close in astronomical terms. This highly promising system has seven rocky planets, at least three of which are located in the star's emittable zone and may have factors similar to Earth. Inside the solar system, the telescope will investigate the atmosphere and surface of Jupiter and Saturn's moons, Titan Europa and Enceladus, which could potentially harbor life. According to Laura Kriedberg of Germany's Max Planck Institute for Astronomy, Webb will provide revolutionary new capabilities over Hubble, owing to its much larger mirror, which measures 6.5 meters in diameter. It will be able to acquire a lot more data from one snapshot. Biosignatures, or evidence of extraterrestrial life, are what we're seeking, according to Natalie Ouellette, an astronomer who works on communication for the James Webb Institute. We're talking about detecting biological activity or the signature of specific chemicals, depending on their existence, especially in particular combinations. We might well be able to identify whether or not certain situations are conducive to life when we use telescopes to investigate an exoplanet. Telescopes are time machines in their own right. Light waves travel so swiftly in the human eye that they appear fast flash from one location to another. Still, in space, the distances are so large that the time it will take for light to travel is noticeable, making the web an incredible time machine. It will time travel 200 million years after the Big Bang, which is unprecedented. Furthermore, the Webb Space Telescope is well suited to examine the universe in infrared wavelengths, whereas the Hubble Space Telescope primarily observes it in ultraviolet and visible wavelengths. The amount of information we can receive in each wavelength is severely constrained by the cloud cover that surrounds planets. Mercedes Lopez Morales, a researcher at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts, who wants to use the observatory after it launches, told Newsweek that infrared telescopes could essentially peek into parts of the universe that are hidden from other observatories, allowing us to perforate through the clouds and finally see what atmospheres of planets are made of. JWST will make groundbreaking observations of potentially habitable conditions both inside and outside our solar system. He went on to say that JWST will also offer data in the infrared for the first time, revealing several impressions of compounds in exoplanetary atmospheres like methane, carbon dioxide, and water. It is possible to discover some of the ingredients essential for life. Professor Sean Britton of Clemson University in South Carolina, according to Lopez Morales, noted that certain chemicals such as carbon dioxide and methane are prevalent. Although the Webb telescope is still in its early stages, there is still a lot of work. It indicate non-equilibrium chemistry, which would mean that there must be some process creating those certain molecules in a steady state because they do not survive around each other, which could indicate life. What do you think of the James Webb telescope? Do you believe in alien life? And do you think this new telescope could help us find alien life? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on future technology.